discussing what are the types of power factors is there types of power factors types of power factors the power factors may be classified in three types one is the unity power factor second one is the lagging power factor third one is the leading power factor one by one we are discussing first one is the unity power factor unity power factor second one is called lagging power factor lagging power factor third one is called leading power factor leading power factor one by one we are discussing first if you go to the unity power factor unity power factor this unity power factor is coming only for the resistive loads is only coming for the resistive load resistive loads only will get the unity power factor how it will happen we will discuss this is the time this is the voltage wave form this is the current wave form the angle between this voltage and the current is zero the angle between phi is zero cos phi is cos cos zero is equal to one you will get the unity you will get the unity power factor with resistive loads for example in real time what are the resistive loads is there in real time what are the resistive loads is there if you go for the lights lights is also resistive loads after if you go for the heating elements heating elements means iron boxes geysers heaters these are all loads are called as resistive loads these loads are called as resistive loads the power factor which will be unity power factor after if you go for the lagging power factor after if you go for the second one is called lagging lagging power factor after that if you go for the lagging power factor first take the graph you will take the one more graph go oh, this is this is the voltage wave form this is the current wave form this wave form this is the term this is the voltage wave form this is the current wave form means the angle leading this wave form how to draw this is the voltage wave form this is the current wave form this is the phi this is the power factor basically if the loads are pure inductive the angle will get 90 degrees if it is pure inductive the angle will get 90 degrees but if pure inductive loads it's not possible why because the inductive loads is the winding related equipment is the inductive loads the winding compressor should have the resistance means mixing of resist mixing of resistance and inductive loads that's why the angle is this is the 36.86 degrees is available if it is pure inductive loads as lagging with 90 degrees but pure inductive loads is not possible mixing of with the resistance is happen that's purpose the angle it will be 36.86 degrees is lagging this uh, for example for this loads motors 
mixers any winding uh, any motor any moving related equipment is there all loads are the like all loads are the inductive loads only all loads are the inductive loads only means any one is moving means any mot any equipment have the motor compulsory those load have the inductive loads compulsory those loads have the inductive loads after that if you go for the leading leading power factor the leading power factor the capacitive capacitor is only the leading power factor is happen how it will happen in diagram this is the voltage wave form this is the current wave form means this is the angle phi the wave form how it will draw this is the voltage wave form this is the if it is pure 90 degrees otherwise something mixing this is the angle this is the leading power factor the example for the leading power factor actual uh, capacitive loads is not available most uh, capacitive loads is very less that is the reason we are externally we are installing the capacitor bank the capacitor bank is known the capacitor banks and the synchronous condensers these are all comes under the leading power factor or capacitive loads these loads is not available these are less these loads is not available these are less that is the reason we compensating this capacitor bank to the existing system then you will get the equalizing how explain This is the power factor is one. After you will get 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, this so on. Here also same 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, here also so many. These are the lagging. These are the lagging power factor. This is the leading power factor. This is the unity power factor. This is the unity power factor this is the unity power factor this is the lagging power factor this is the leading power factor the lagging power factor is the inductive loads the lagging power factor is the inductive loads the leading power factor is the capacitive loads unity power factor is the resistive loads means every load compulsory these two have Every load compulsory, these two have. This is not available. It's very less, it's not available. That is the reason this load, this load compensating to existing system, the existing system already connected this inductive and resistive load. You will get, you will get, you will connect and you will connect this capacitor back to existing system. You will get the approximately near to unity power factor you will get the approximately near to that unity power factor with the help of that capacitor bank